We have just learned that a man has been arrested here in Washington, allegedly found with a bayonet and a machete outside DNC headquarters. This is coming into us from U.S. Capitol Police. Um, and apparently this person had multiple knives in his truck right near the DNC. This all went down around midnight when one officer was on patrol, saw this pickup truck that had a swastika on it, some other white supremacist sim symbols. It didn't have a license plate. Instead, it had an American flag, basically. Uh, I'm going to bring in Leanne Caldwell here. The chief of the U.S. Capitol Police calls this good police work, Leanne. This is the first we're hearing about this. We just show, can I bring up that map one more time to my control room here? Because, Leanne, just to give people some perspective, the DNC and RNC headquarters are not far from the Capitol, right? The, the RNC is a little bit closer, but they're just to the south of those house office buildings. That's what you see in between the Capitol and RNC headquarters are those, are those buildings where members of the House of Representatives have their offices. Leanne, tell us more about what we know about this arrest um, and about what happened here. Yeah, Hallie, this just came in moments ago. A 44-year-old Donald Craighead of Oceanside, California, was arrested for possession of prohibited weapons. As you mentioned, he had a bayonet in his car, in his truck, I should say, and a machete. Uh, like you also said, he was pulled over after Capitol Police spotted something suspicious, which was his truck, which didn't have a license plate and instead had a picture of the American flag. Now, Capitol Police are on extremely high alert right, right now as we gear in to this rally on Saturday, the Justice for J6 rally. And so there's a lot of Capitol Police who are on duty. No one is taking leave right now. And so they are taking every single threat extremely seriously. And I will say that these one-off threats by people who, whatever their intention is uh, to do harm or not, are some of the biggest concerns of the rank-and-file Capitol Police that I talked to. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, you had a standoff with Capitol Police where, where a man said that he had explosives in his car. That was several hours hours of negotiations with this man who ended up not having explosives. And then, right. of course, on Good Friday, there was the man who drove his car into the Capitol Police uh, barrier outside of the Capitol. So these are increasing threats. So not only are they dealing with these rallies that, uh, that come sporadically, including the one on Saturday, but they're also dealing with these one-off threats as well, Hallie. She note a couple of things here, right, Leanne, that according to U.S. Capitol Police, this man who was arrested was talking about being, quote unquote, on patrol when officers yeah. had approached him, again, with knives in his truck, with that bayonet, with the machete. Um, by the way, no, not legal in Washington, D.C. You cannot have those mm -hmm. things here in the district. Um, and, and was espousing, apparently, white supremacy ideology, white supremacist ideology to these Capitol Police officers. And importantly, Leanne, Capitol Police are telling us that it's not clear right now if yeah. he was planning to attend any upcoming demonstrations, i.e. the demonstration that you're talking about on Saturday.